Yes, we we just had a, a boy that just jumped into our, our pool and he hit his head and he can't feel anything. <laughs> okay. Don't. I'm gonna tone it out. Don't hang okay. up because I gotta get some information okay. from you. Okay. 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 This has been a one hundred and thirty-one assault head injury two six eight North Tomatone eighteen fifty. So he, he did he jump in the shallow end? Yeah, well it's it's an it's an above ground pool and he he jumped in, yes, and hit his head. Is he bleeding from anywhere? No, he's not bleeding anywhere. He just can't really feel I, I just touched him on the foot he said he could feel that a little bit but he can't feel his arms or leg or his arms or hands. Okay. Is he breathing all right? Yeah, he's breathing. Is it's it, okay, Drake. You're okay. Yeah. Is it normal? Um, is his breathing normal? Is he is breathing normal? Yeah, he's, he, he's, I think he's having anxiety. Okay. Me and Drake were swimming at my house, and my parents were home, and they're usually never home on Friday. And so my mom came up to the side of the pool and was like, hey, do you want to call Clinton Amber and see if they want to go bowling or cook out? And me and Drake were like, yeah, that'd be fun. So we kind of swam around for a little bit, and I was like, okay, let's get out. I'll get ready, and then we can run by your house and get clothes. He's like, okay. So we got out of the pool. My mom started to call Amber, and I hand Drake a towel. And Drake is usually the one that's like a water baby and he wants to always get in the pool. Well, the one time I'm like, I could just jump back in the pool. Well, Drake always makes me laugh and he just tries to be goofy. And so he just threw the towel off and just dove back in. And I just kind of like laughed at him and turned and like checked my phone. And, and then I turned around and he was floating at the bottom of the pool. And I kind of thought that he was just like messing with me, but I kind of sat there and there was like no bubbles coming up. So I noticed that something was wrong, so I dove in, and I just kind of scooped him up like a baby. And right whenever I pulled him up, he spit out water and just said, Sydney, I'm paralyzed. Please don't let me die. One thing about Drake, uh, long before this, you know, no matter where you are, when you'd see him, he'd come and hug you. That's just Drake. That's just the way he is. He's he's always been like that, you know. It didn't it didn't matter where you were at. He he'd come and hug you, and uh, he's just that type of kid, you know. He is really. Not saying it for for this, but he, he is really a good kid. Uh, Drake, I would say, is pretty much just a all-American kid, you know. Uh, was never really in a lot of trouble, always played sports, uh, loved swimming, always liked to be in the water or in the outdoors. Uh, just a, I would just say, a you know, a small town uh, American kid, you know, just a... Uh, a good boy, a good son. 
I had a class with him and <laughs> we always kind of flirted back and forth. <laughs> but I never really thought of like going out with him, but I asked him to prom and that's whenever it all kind of came together. So we went to prom, had fun, <laughs> and then we started dating. It was very fun. We were, I feel like it was always time Drake doing something. It was, we never were the brothers that fought or anything like that. We were, we were pretty much best friends. We, anytime we were doing anything, it was Drake by my side or I'm right by Drake's side. We were just running around and being little hooligans and just doing kid stuff. He was always a fighter. He he was always quiet, but yet he had the determination that whenever he started something, he was going to finish it. I think it's awesome. Because <laughs> uh, every one of them have a different personality. Um, it's a handful to have them all at once. It was tough. <laughs> <laughs> but we loved them all dearly. Yeah. They're awesome. They're all awesome. Having our kids was great, but grandkids, that's why they're called grand. They're special. He liked to clown around a lot. I've got some old home movies of him, and uh, I, I, I didn't really remember that until I went back and looked at those movies. But he was always the one who was... Loving. Lo yeah, <laughs> he love was it. loving. Loving, mm -hmm. but also... Uh, a little mischievous at times. Trying to get attention because he had a bigger brother and we had a lot of grandchildren. So uh, for him to get attention, he had to do some little quirky things once in a while. But he always hugged us, always. He and Ty both do, but he always, when some of the other grandkids got bigger and growing up, they, uh, it was like, oh my God, that's grandmother or that's uh, Nana. I'm, you know, don't, don't hug us for whatever, you know, but Drake always, he would hug us and we call him our hugger. Me and Drake were swimming at my house and my parents were home and they're usually never home on Friday. So we kind of swam around for a little bit and I was like, okay, let's get out. I'll get ready and then we can run by your house and get clothes. He's like, okay. So we got out of the pool. My mom started to call Amber and I hand Drake a towel. And so he just threw the towel off and just dove back in. And I just kind of like laughed at him and turned and like checked my phone. And, and then I turned around and he was floating at the bottom of the pool. And I kind of thought that he was just like messing with me, but I kind of sat there and there was like no bubbles coming up. So I noticed that something was wrong. So I dove in. Right whenever I pulled him up, he spit out water and just said, Sydney, I'm paralyzed. Please don't let me die. So I yelled for my mom and my dad, and they knew immediately that something was wrong. And so my dad and my mom jumped in, and my sister and Drake's cousin, Bailey, was actually at my house too. And so they all came outside, and they all jumped in, and my dad had Drake's neck, and I had the upper part, my sister had the lower, my mom had the feet, and my mom called 911, and we sat there, and we just let him float in the pool and no one moved and then the ambulance came and they jumped in and they told us don't move him let us put the board underneath him and as we you know get the part that you're holding just slowly walk away so we did and then we all helped lift him up out of the pool and I ran inside put a shirt on and shorts and I by the time Drake was already in the ambulance I just jumped in the front seat and I was going to the airport with them. We, Judy and I was camped out. We was camped out and with uh, her brother and his wife. And we, we was camped out and we decided to go to Fort Smith to eat at a, at a place that we love to go to, all of us. And we hadn't been there long. And, um, so we was probably a couple hours out. Mm -hmm. 
And and Amber called me and said, uh, Dad, there's Drake's had a bad accident. <clears throat> and she started telling me what happened, how it was a swimming accident. And um, she said, Daddy, pray, pray. I said, I will. And um, but she was saying, I'm I'm in I think she was in Little Rock or Conway and trying to get back here because it happened here in Russellville, the accident. And anyway, we hung up and she called me back a little later and said, it's really, really bad, Dad. I was at home. We were planning to have a uh, fish fry at our house the next day with Clint and Amber and several of our friends. And um, so I was at home kind of getting ready for that. And uh, my daughter, Bailey, was over there at the house where it happened at Sydney's and Shelby's. And um, she called me and told me, you know, Drake was in an accident and, you know, it's their, you know, they're, t they're you know, they've called MedFlight and you just kind of feel like uh, this just can't be happening. This 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 does not happen to somebody that, you know, is so close to us. And, uh, you know, you just kind of are in kind of denial. I think denial that, you know, this is happening, so. It's just a flood of emotions. You just start thinking, you know, is he going to make it? Is, you know, how's Clinton Amber going to handle this? You know, is this just, you know, you start thinking about how how you would handle that as a parent. And um, I, I just didn't, you know, you're kind of lost, lost for what to do, how to help. You know, you, you just feel helpless. I was actually in Conway. My niece had just had a baby the day before at Conway Hospital. And I was in Conway seeing her, and I was actually on the phone with Cheryl when the accident happened with Sydney's mom. So I could hear Sydney screaming. And so I just, I just said, what happened, or what's going on? And she said, something's happened. She said, there's been an accident. She said, something's happened to Drake. And I could just tell by how frantic everybody was on the phone, I just said, hang up and call 911. And so I left, of course, ran out of the hospital. And um, as I'm running, I'm trying to call my husband because he was going fishing that day in his boat. And it's like I'm trying to run and run through a hospital and get to my car. And um, I get him and he had just got on the water and I said, something's happened to Drake. I said, he's been in an accident. But in my head, I was just thinking, he just slipped and hit his head, maybe broke an arm. You know, I mean, like I was not even thinking spinal cord injury. She called me back a little later and said, it's really, really bad, Dad, really bad. He's, <clears throat> he broke his neck, he's paralyzed. And, um, but anyway, she was, um, telling me to pray. And she said, I'm trying to get there to the hospital. And then it wasn't long, she called me back and said, Dad, he's so bad, they're, they're med flighting him to Children's in Little Rock. I was actually trying to go fishing. Um, so I was not too far from our house. Um, I was at Sweden Island Park uh, in the process of actually launching my boat into the river. And um, I'd been trying to get there all day and a lot of things happened that day that kind of slowed me down or I'd already been on the water and, and uh, in an area where I wouldn't have had cell phone coverage. So long story short, I'm, I get the boat off the trailer and my phone rings just before I put it up and I, I pick my phone up and uh, it was Amber calling me and she said something's happened to Drake. He slipped and hit his head and that's what I, and the reception was, was kind of shady so that's the first thing I got was he fell and hit his head and it, it must be pretty bad. So I'm thinking then well, he needs stitches. You know, Drake's a tough kid. You know, he's been working out. He's, he's strong. There it's, it's not that serious, you know? So I said, okay. And she said, well, they're calling me back. And I, I guess that was Cheryl calling Amber. Let me call you back. So I, I hang up and I pull back to the bank and I'm debating, do I need to get out? you know, how, how serious is this? And then I get a call right back. It's really bad, you need to get there right now. So then I kind of start panicking, okay, well, 
it's a, just a bad cut. I still don't realize his neck, you know, that, that that's what has happened. I'm flying back to Russellville. And in the middle of all that, um, I'm calling everybody to pray. And so I made it to Plummerville. And my husband called and he's turning around and go to Little Rock. They're taking him to children's in a helicopter. I turned around and I beat Drake there uh, in, my, in my car. Because I was already, I was doing like 90. So I beat Drake to the hospital and um, they just put me in a room and told me he's on his way. We already, we're already aware of everything, he, you know, he's on his way. And anyway, well, pretty quick, they took me back to the room that he was in with all the doctors. And I could tell that it was pretty bad. And so during this time, you know, they're having people, they're just running around and it's just wild. I just dove back in the pool and as soon as I hit, I already knew I was paralyzed right then. And I just knew it was, it was game over. Thank you.